Hello? Are you awake? Hello there? Hello? <gasps> Welcome back, soulmate. <laughs> I'm Tetra, vigilante of the stars. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you're on an alien ship. A collector's ship, to be exact. Now, not mine. I'm in the brig with you. Abducted. Oh. Honestly, I'd say that's quite a harsh term. I've, I wouldn't really say that, but, uh... Yeah. Yeah, you were abducted. I mean, honestly, you're in a really great position here. Me? Pfft. Again, I was not abducted. Harsh term. I'm a hitchhiker. I travel across the universe from ship to ship, hitchhiking. Traveling different planets and universes, experiencing many wonderful things. I just happened upon this ship and, um,. They aren't really keen on hitchhikers, so that's what got me in the brig here. Yeah, but that's a good thing, because then I met you, and I can help you. Oh, I wouldn't freak out about that. I mean, they might probe you a little bit, but not too much, because you're endangered and you're very expensive, so they would not want to harm you. That only makes your price go down. Oh, you didn't know. Um, so, I forgot that Earth isn't a part of the Galactic Council yet. Um, you see, the Galactic Empire has decided to build an intergalactic highway, and Earth just so happens to be in the middle of it, so Earth is going to be destroyed in about 24 hours. Oof, you're not taking that well. Listen, it's Earth isn't that great. Once you've traveled the stars, you'll see that there are many amazing places, far superior to Earth. I don't know why you're so upset about this. What, why am I being so insensitive? Well, listen, I'm half human. I totally get it. I mean, I was born on Earth. I lived on Earth for 20-some years before I left. I was picked up by a hitchhiker myself and uh, traveled the stars and never looked back. Hey, you could do that too. I could be the hitchhiker that helps you, that starts your galactic adventure. Oh, that sounds amazing. Tetra, doing good across the universe. Yeah, that sounds good. You can join me. We could hitchhike from ship to ship until we eventually find my ship, which I, again, have no idea where it is. And it exists, for sure. <laughs> um, and that'll probably get you out of the whole being endangered and sold thing. Oh, perfect. Good. You'll come with me? Awesome. Can't wait. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> so, the plan, well, my plan is that we wait for another ship to get just close enough and then we teleport using my device, my hitchhiking device and we teleport from our sh this ship to the new ship and hope that they are also not collectors even though the chances are very high since everyone in this galaxy right now is just looking up to pick up humans to sell them but there are, um, galactic police, because of course it's illegal to sell and trade, um, beings. Um, doesn't stop it from happening, but, you know, it happens, of course. <sighs> but anyway, the probability is high. It, listen, we always come out on top. So, since you're going to be traveling with me, I have an extra babble fish. Let me just get it out of my purse here. Okay, and it goes right in your ear. Stop. No, stop resisting. Come on. It goes right in your... There you are. In your ear. Perfect. Well, it's a babblefish, of course. Ugh, that's 
that's right, you're not a part of the vlog, you're gonna find it. So basically, it's a fish from a very far off planet on the edge of the universe. And what it does is it feeds off your brain waves and no, 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 don't take it out. Stop. Just, those are expensive. Stop. Leave it in. Trust me. It feeds off your brain waves and one alien language goes in and your alien language comes out. So that way you can understand any being in the universe. Trust me. You'd rather have a fish eating off your brain waves. Harmless. Then be completely alone in the universe and not understand anyone. What's better, right? So, now that we have the babble fish in, let's start thinking about our plan to get off the ship. Hmm. My hope. Hmm. Hmm. What? You're still freaking out about the probe thing? Listen, it's probably not- we may not even get to that point before we find a new ship. It's gonna be okay. So you're freaking about, out about the, the Earth thing? Hmm. Yeah, that sucks, huh? What? I mean, are you freaking out about the galactic storm outside, or...? I mean, that's very dangerous. It, in fact, it's probably more dangerous than you being on Earth. Well. No, because Earth's being destroyed. I'm just trying to calm you down, you know. Oh, you know what? You know what's better than me trying to calm you down? I learned this technique. It's on this far-off planet in this galaxy called Snargleflarg. There is a technique. It's sort of like an auto... I don't even really know what it's called. It's a response. And it's sort of like amplifying sound and making words sound a little bit better. I don't know. Anyway, this guru sort of taught me this technique. And um, I can use it to calm you down a bit if you'd like. While we wait for the ship. Perfect. So, let me just get... Um, so there's these headphones I'm going to have you wear. Just let me get that out of my bag here. Okay, go ahead and put those on, and I will put mine on. Okay, so basically, like I said, it amplifies the sound and it creates a calming effect. It's best if you close your eyes, but you don't have to, it's okay. Just listen to the sound. Good, good. 
just got a signal. 